Five days after surgery, with the fingers elevated and immobilized to allow the swelling come down, the first thing that's done is passive movement of the affected digits to take the friction out of the joint. And then the patient is allowed to do up to half a fist of true active flexion, focusing on being able to extend the interphalangeal joints completely against the splint. Here's the patient several months later with a full range of motion. So at the two week mark, we're looking to see how well the finger is moving passively and she's done a great job at her exercises maintaining that passive range of motion. And then I want to so see... So you still do it five times? Yep, five times in a row every hour or as often so as we can. So we just did passive five times. So now we're going to do active. Yeah, and then we test to see how well she's done working on her quarter fist for the last 10 days, and she's doing great. And you can see that she's getting some bend at her DIP joint as well as the PIP joint. And she's how many days after surgery? She's now two weeks post her surgery. Okay. And so now what I'm going to instruct the patient to do is at the two-week mark, we want to start doing what we call a half fist. So you want to try to bring it down a little farther than what you were doing before. Good. Okay. And Exactly. Now the patient might not be able to achieve a full half fist just because this is the first time she's done it in two weeks and then straighten back up. But the idea is that when she comes back in two weeks time, she has what we call a half fist. So she's not quite touching the palm. She's probably about an inch away from her palm and that's the goal. So if we were looking at this patient's, I would want Dawn to eventually come back and be about right here. So that's the Sorry, sure that Okay. Again. You would like her to come back and, and, and be able to touch about where my finger is, her fingertips being able to touch right about there, just to get a nice half fist. What about the little finger? Where do you want yep, it to be? Same idea. He'll eventually tuck down once it's not so stiff and right down in there as well. Is that hurting you at all to do that? It doesn't hurt. I can feel like a little, Stress. almost like a little pull in the back. Yeah. But not in the... Not in the front. No. Yeah. There's no pain. Nope. And it's okay. not pain. It's just more of like a pull, like a stretch. Yeah. Okay. And most people will find after they've done this every hour they're awake, five times in a row, for the next two weeks that that stretch will kind of go away. And it'll get just easier mm. almost coming into... Um, it just gets easier to come into a full fist. But worst... no full fist. Right. No forceful <laughs> movement and, and no gripping and you're still not able to use the hand. You just can't only have the confines of a half fist All right. right now. So you can move it, but you can't use it. Right. right. And have you been doing that? You've been yes. moving it, but not using it. Not using it. Very good. So and if we, all patients were like this, we'd have no problem. <laughs> and we do all of that now, but with, um, with the, I'm going to cut the, the splint and remove it. So she'll be doing still passive flexion, active extension within the dorsal block and still active half fist within the dorsal block, but her wrist will be completely free. And how long are we gonna continue the active half fist as opposed to a full fist? That's for two weeks. So we do an active half fist from the two week mark to the four week mark or one month post flexor tendon repair. Okay. And uh, do you do uh, the Gwen Van Strien thing where she scratches her other fingers on the other hand? Yeah, it's a tool that I pull out if I need it, if I don't feel like they're getting any DI, any IP joint glide, like if they're doing their fist, but they're doing mostly from the NP joint and from the I, uh, PIP joint like this, then I'll do the scratch. But with this patient's case, I mean, she's already gotten, she already has really nice DIP joint glide that I'm not going to worry about that with right. her. She's going to get a great result, I yeah. think, if she keeps yeah. this up.